the sound of the deadly bomb can be heard off camera, and the images of the aftermath are even harder to watch. The latest blast claiming at least 125 lives, including more than 60 children. This is a man-made disaster. That's how Bishop Gregory Mansour describes the overall war in Syria, now in its sixth year. But despite the conflict in the region, the chairman of Catholic Relief Services believes there's still a chance for peace, as the humanitarian organization continues to help on the ground. When I ask about a breakup of Syria, he recalls how a former pope once handled a civil war in the region. I believe Pope Benedict, when he came to Lebanon, he said, don't ever give in to the idea that peace is not possible. And here in Bay Ridge, a neighborhood with a heavy Middle Eastern population, some Brooklynites I spoke with agree with Bishop Mansour, while others believe when it comes to the violence in Syria, there's no end in sight. My opinion that the split is permanent or eminent, I think it is. Uh, I hope it's not going to be like that. But if that's what's going to happen, if that's what's going to stop the war, I'm sure that's what they're going to do. Why we fight? For what? We can stay in peace together, all the people, but now war everywhere, so no chance for peace. I think Syrians are now left trapped in Syria. Uh, they have no choice between the uh, terrorist organization or the regime forces or the international forces now. I think it is a very tragic situation. Though many doubt a solution will come, many are hoping and praying for peace. Reporting for Currents, I'm Tim Harfman.